Hey South Hill, greetings from Vienna. I hope you're all doing really well and I'm excited to talk to you today. Vienna's pretty far away from South Hill. In fact, it's almost 5,000 miles. Uh, for a little bit of perspective, that would be like walking to Wegmans 2,000 times from where you are right now. So it's quite far away. Uh, but today's a very exciting day. Uh, I actually went to the Vienna Castle for the first time today. The castle is called Schönbrunn. It's really, really big. Uh, it's one of the biggest castles in Europe, and it's really, really fancy. Uh, there is no king and queen anymore in Austria. They were kicked out about a hundred years ago, uh, but they still have all the fancy apartments and houses and castles and furniture, and even the horses, well, the grandchildren of the horses uh, from the kings and queens many, many years ago. So it was a very exciting day I got to spend at the castle. In fact, the weather here is really nice right now. It's sunny, and it's in the 60s. I hear in New York it's kind of cold right now, so I'm sorry about that. I'll send some warm weather your way. Uh, today is also a very special day because it is the most fancy ball of the season in Austria. In Austria, balls are very, very important. Just think of like any Disney princess movie where they have a fancy ball, where everyone dresses up in gowns and tuxedos and looks really nice and dances all night long. Uh, so tonight is the fanciest ball uh, in the year in Austria, so that's happening tonight. I'm not going. As you can see, I'm wearing my sweater and I'm in my bedroom. But a lot of people do go, and it's very, very fancy. Uh, in Austria, some of the best food, which you may or may not have heard about, is called Wiener Schnitzel. They take a big piece of meat, like this big, bigger than your face, and they pound it with a hammer, just pound it, pound it, pound it, pound it, until it's super thin, very, very thin, and then they deep fry it. It's really unhealthy, but it tastes really good. So I don't eat it all the time, but when I am feeling like I deserve it, then I eat Wiener Schnitzel. They're also famous for their apple strudel. So it's like a pastry with lots of apples in it, and that's really good. Everything in Austria comes with lots and lots of whipped cream. So if you like whipped cream, it's a good place to be. You may or may not have heard about Austria from a movie called The Sound of Music. It's a really famous American movie musical. Uh, and lots and lots of Americans watch it, and there's lots of famous songs, and it takes place in Austria, and there's lots of mountains. Um, but actually, nobody in Austria knows about this movie. Whenever I talk to my students about it, uh, they have never heard about it before, so we watch clips about it. So what a lot of Americans know about Austria is not what a lot of Austrians know. But what Austria is very well known for is its mountains. There's tons and tons of tall mountains all over the place, uh, and everybody goes skiing all the time in the winter. Skiing is like the most important sport uh, that anybody could possibly do. Downhill skiing, of course. And Austria always does really, really well at the Winter Olympics with skiing. Uh, and so that's the thing that everybody really enjoys. I haven't gone skiing yet, although I am wearing my Cornell Ski and Snowboard Club uh, sweatshirt. So maybe one day I'll have to go skiing. Anyway, I hope this gave you a little bit of good information uh, about Austria. Uh, and what I'm doing here. I really, really love it. It's one of the coolest, most beautiful countries in the world with lots of mountains and beautiful lakes and rivers and lots and lots of old classical music. So if you like old classical music, it's also a good place. I don't really like that so much, though. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask Mr. C and he can send them to me and I'll send you answers. Anyway, it's very late here because, you know, in Austria, we're six hours ahead of you in New York. The time is so different. So I have to get ready for bed, but it's been really good to talk to you, and I hope that you have an excellent day and an excellent Friday, and hopefully you have some questions and we can talk about those soon. Bye-bye from Austria.